Welcome back to my survival world where I'm building the tallest Minecraft base. In the last episode I did a lot of building, at least on the exterior, but as a result I'm a little bit um, behind on the interior. Therefore today there will be mostly interior building and only a little bit of building in the exterior. I hope that's fine. So the first thing I want to build here is a casino and for that I first have to craft some playing cards that I use banners and different colors and then I have finally an option to use the loom. Then I name all those playing cards for full set or exactly four full sets. Yeah I can show them off for shulker boxes of cards for the casino on top of the tower. And if you're wondering how I got that many levels I found some gold. I will use this as the entrance, then I have uh, the floor on that level and then there are four blocks of space to hide redstone and stuff. Almost as if I had planned it. Okay, let's start with some redstone. And this is the first contraption inside the casino, the roulette wheel. All I have to do is press this button and then the wheel starts spinning. How it works is actually not that complicated. I have two randomizers in here with, with droppers each and only if both of them so, um, select a redstone, so a 1 in 16 chance, the wheel stops and until then it just keeps going, so the duration of the wheel spinning is totally randomized. For the second contraption I have a poker table. First we have to pull this lever to turn the machine on and then we have essentially only two buttons, one to deal a card to all the players. They, they won't fall down once the floor is finished. And then there's a second button to add a community card. Community cards get put here in the middle where everyone can see them. Like this. And the cards themselves circle around inside the machine in these hoppers. So they're continuously shuffled. I know it's not like real poker, but it's uh, it's kind of close and anything that gets closer to real poker would be incredibly space consuming. The third contraption is a little bit simpler than the other two. It's a simple exchange station. All we have to do is put in a diamond and we get four of those casino chips. The idea is that people wouldn't notice how much money they spend if they spend chips instead of diamonds. And the fourth contraption is this blackjack table. It essentially utilizes the same technique as the poker table. We pull the lever to start the machine. Here's the button for the dealer to give himself a card. And then there is this notebook to deal a card to one player here. And the other player can get a card with the other note block. And in the middle is of course a discard pile. I can put away all the cards once the game is over. And as a last contraption I have this slot machine. Essentially we put in some gold nuggets and then we press the button. And if we are lucky we get two gold nuggets back. I think I should add a note block here to get an indication that anything happens. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now that I've built five contraptions, I actually have to decorate the casino. And with all that, the casino is finished. The real question now is, why did I even build this? This is a single player world, there is no one to play with, and even if I went, were to get some diamonds, there's nothing to spend them on, because it is a single player world, and all the diamonds are the ones I myself mined. But before I continue on the interior, I want to build at least a few builds on the exterior.
I also built some suggestions like the Big Pink in New York State. And the Calypso, the research strip. Now we have this hole in the wall, which I have to fill with some exterior builds, and for that I need some white concrete, obviously made from white color, gravel, and a lot of sand. To convert it I use my concrete converter in the next to the storage room. And I need all the concrete for a suggestion, a karate person kicking with his legs. Organic builds are always a little difficult. Here I help a little bit by taking a picture and then making it pixelated and then I can build that as 2D in a creative world and once that's done I can turn it into 3D. That is my opinion a good way of building more organic or realistic builds. But it's a lot of work always, so I don't want to build too many of them. And once that's done, I can obviously add it to the tower, this time in survival, which makes it uh, even a little bit harder. But the good thing here is just three colors, so it's, it's doable. With, with more blocks, it would have been a nightmare. And now I can add a last floor to the tower, but I don't really build much there, just a roof for the swimming pool. And now that all that is done, I can give you a quick run through through the interior. First I have that basketball court, you can use an orange wool and two options you can and get this throw if you're, if you're lucky or good. Yep. And you can also use the slime block. Okay. Then on the other side I have that uh, bow shooting range and this is special because it also shoots back. So you can try to dodge the arrows. And then later you can collect the arrows again. And then if we go here, I have more rooms, I have um, more storage room, a sauna, I have no idea how it fits in here but this is here. Then this room for reading, and um, there are no, this is not a bad room. Here are some plants, and there's another floor with carpet, and, but there isn't really anything here. And then on the fourth floor I built today, we have this swimming pool, but I haven't really added much here. That's the top of building today, at a height of 750 blocks. Yes. I then went to my testing world and wanted to sketch out what I do with the remaining 250 blocks of the tower. And what I came up with is, is a few things, but I'm not really sure if I will build them all or if, or if I will change ideas. I will probably change ideas midway through. The next three things I want to build, I'm pretty sure I want to build a village here. That's the next thing with villagers. And then I want to build 60 blocks tall vertical gardens with various builds mixed in between and in the middle I would place a skulk farm. At least that's the plan. But if you want to see that you have to see the coming episodes and if you aren't subscribed you could do that if you're interested. Otherwise you can leave a like if you enjoyed this episode and leave a comment if you have any ideas what I can add to the tower. Have a beautiful time and goodbye.